Hello, hello. And there we go. Welcome to the juice box. Just a real quick. Uh, we're gonna do a ammo factory. So you want to get your power source, and I recommend if you don't have like a nuclear power, just uh, get a dedicated source for your factory, just so you have enough. Anywho, because uh, it is going to take a lot if you get intricate with it. But all we're going to do right now is build an ammo uh, factory. So I just put down some floor mats just because it looks cool underneath the, the builders. Um, you're going to want from your power in this order, go to a either a terminal or I, I like to use these vault tech things because I can do the... Uh, homeless jobs and whatnot with those also. <clears throat> oh, and this just looks better to me. I don't like that anymore. Anyway, moving on. And then I go to um, a switched uh, power pylon. Or you can do like the blue switch in the... Let's see, let's go to it. This thing. You could use that also. Or like the power the the power pylon. Anyway, just something where you can cut it off because sometimes you're gonna want to do something like either change out a builder or you know, add tracks, whatever. You don't want it moving while you're while you're trying it. So make sure you put a switch on it and then put it after the computer because if you put it, you know, from the switch to the computer and then over to your builders, uh, your computer's not gonna be on anymore. So. I had to rearrange like an entire building. Okay, well, room, but it felt like a building just because of that little detail. It was annoying. Get out of here. Oh, oh, oh. I've got the, the green in the Commonwealth mod, and some of these bushes are hard to get because they're actually little bitty twigs, but the mod makes them look green. See? Look cool. Yeah. Yeah, this is a new character that I just is a sandbox character if I want to build something or if I you know got an idea of what I wanted to try out instead of ruining my settlements in game, I just come on this guy and see how I want to do it. Anyway, moving on. So we go to our uh we're in the power section in the build menu. And then over here towards the end is the uh, manufacturing. This is where we're going to be. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. So from here, we're going to want to go to uh, to our builders. And that's just like the, you know, these are the builders right here. Um, but I've got a, uh, a container sitting right here. And this is how I have it set up at Starlight like everybody else. You can connect it to your workshop as well. So it just sucks things out of your workshop all day. But what you want to do for, it to, for that to happen, it's not in here. It's in miscellaneous, isn't it? Yeah, it's in here. Let's see, yeah. And I've got, I've got some mod, like this one's a modded one. I haven't used it yet. Some of these are really awesome. But we're going to do a no mod ammo build. So if you get it up on your container, like so. Let's see, how did I get this straight last time? Anyway, we, won't, we won't be anal about it. This isn't a real build. Get it up on your container like this. It doesn't have to be that close, but if we're like that far away, it'll still work. And we can connect our power. We don't have to right now. We're not ready yet. But that's how we start. And this thing is going to suck whatever is in this trunk out and put it onto the belt. So that's how you introduce your 
crafting materials into the system. Okay, so you from here you could do like ultra boring, which is just put your let's get the ballistics. Ballistics. Yeah, this mod has a lot of extra stuff. It's really cool. You could do something boring like this. It's just put it in line and then get your storage like that and boom you're done well you know put power to it but as far as building your line if you want to be boring about it this is this is pretty boring and you're gonna have some problems because if you put anything other than your materials or your you know whatever your your ammo needs like for 308s it's uh, copper lead and fertilizer if you put anything other than copper lead and fertilizer in here then it's just gonna get all bunched up into here and these builders um, when they try to like spit things out sometimes it, it goes in alphabetical order if it's got a lot of stuff in there and it's not, it's, it's not pretty not pretty to have your, your builders full of junk <clears throat> so anywho, we're not going to do it the boring way. We're going to do it the uh, almost as boring way. Let's just get these out of our way for a minute. So we'll be using them. Oh, and you notice also this one, like, if you put it in line, it has to go that way. It snaps that way. You can't just shove it in there. Like, this won't work. This, this is a no-no, you can't do that. Because the belt, the conveyor belt, apparently on this model, goes this way and that way only. And this in here goes this way. And that way only. There's no way of reversing it. Now on the computer system, you can reverse for whatever reason. I don't, I don't know why you would need to. Um, but you can reverse the direction of your your conveyor belt system. Maybe that's a modded effect. That might be modded. Because I can't understand why you would need to do that. Anywho. So, these, these items do snap together. Alright. So, to, in order to get around that, we want to be able to sort it some way we come into our miscellaneous we look for and I'm going to do the component sorter now when, you, when you're when you doing this there's two sorters this, there's a sorter and then there's a component sorter this component sorter it looks for uh, the building materials of junk items you know, like a telephone, it would look for it and it would find, you know, what is it, plastic and circuitry, whatever, whatever the, the component items are. Uh, that's what, that's what it looks for, okay? This other sorter is just, is just exactly what it is. Whatever you put in the inventory of this sorter, so like you go in here like this, and we go over to, oh, I don't have jack, okay. Got junk. So you tell it, uh, let's not do a component, let's do oh, like a vodka bottle. Now, watch it. Watch what happens when we put a vodka bottle in here. I bet you can already guess. I bet you can already guess. Oh, let's do this. Do I have any other items in glass? Yes. Okay. And we'll do whiskey. And another vodka bottle. And we'll do... Whiskey bottle. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, so this one is going to be looking for a vodka bottle. This one... We're going to tell it to look for glass. So what you do is you just put 
one piece of glass in there. Whatever you put in these boxes is what it's going to be looking for. So, like, it, you couldn't put vodka in there. I don't know what it, I don't even know what it would do. Don't do that. You could prove me wrong, but. Uh, and I could honestly prove myself wrong right now. All it is is a push of a button. Let me see what happens. But I don't even, I don't feel like going into the thought process on how to test that. Anywho, this component sorter is going to be uh, looking for glass. Okay, hold on. Okay. All right, so we're not hooking up the uh, ballistics yet. We're just looking at these sorters and how they work, what they do. Oh, come on now. Don't do me like that. There we go. All right, so you see, like, the sorters need three each. This guy over here needs six. So we're already up to 12, and we haven't even done anything yet. So you're going to need a lot of power for these things. Okay. So let's hook some power up to it. We can test and see if our switch is working. Turn it off. Everything is off. And look, computer still works. Boom. Okay. <coughs> oh, interesting note also. You can also do the uh, switch. Oh shit, I don't know what I have going on on the other side of the... <laughs> on the other side of there. Yeah, I got a big thing. Okay. Alright, so we're on. Vacuum hopper is sucking out these things. This first one, remember, is looking for vodka bottle. And it found vodka bottle. This guy, looking for glass. So look, all this stuff. Vodka, whiskey. You don't care. You don't care. He's just whatever is glass is getting sent over this way. Vodka bottle gets spit out over here. So, okay, and this is this is a problem that I'm having on the on the other side. And now that I say this, let's turn this off for now. Now that I say this, I don't even know if this is the right character. Hold on. This might be. Yes, it is. Okay. I'm going to show you what I did to myself. And you don't have to worry about this unless you use mods. But it's it's, it's pretty fucking hilarious. Alright, I'll show you how the system works. I was really proud of myself because it's, it's an infinite loop, I think. But also, like, whenever you have items... Oh, yeah. Okay, so let me give you the tour. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just sprang all this on you. Without any warning at all. Okay, so here we are. This is, again, this is just sandbox mode. So, like, it looks like ass because I'm building it, like, out of experimentation. But, uh, yeah, we're at the plot right next to the, the workshop house. And you can see I I was going to check it, uh, hook it up to my workshop, but what happened was it kept sucking everything out of the workshop, and then I didn't have any building materials. So... <laughs> so then I put a cheat in and now I don't have problems with building materials but it would take like two years for it to suck everything out anyway, here we go uh, yeah, so we come in <clears throat> then we come in, and I think I'm going to do with this town I think it's going to be like a you know, like a uh, this is going to be their thing like everybody in town is going to be contributing to this Junk Machine going on inside. Aw, oh, what a cool band name, Junk Machine. Anyway, getting ahead of myself. Alright, so, like in all my settlements, we got the stoplight just because I think it looks cool. We come in, how pretty. And we're, we're already at work. Yep, we walk in the door, you're already here at work. And we'll get, we'll get to all this fancy schmancy stuff and the flaws of why this fucking tripwire doesn't... <laughs> Look, look, watch it, watch it. Nothing happens. And I got junk over there. 
This place has problems, you know, but... <laughs> what? Yeah, we're all drunk, probably. I don't know. Alright, so, we walk in, here's, here's the hazmat suit, just in case, because sometimes you gotta go outside and shut this door. And I think, yeah, crafting stuff. Here's my kitchen area, right here. And I haven't finished uh, decorating yet, because I just, I just put this together last night. And then, my bed, right here, and then some asshole standing in my bedroom. I don't... Get out of here, sir. Alright. Uh, and then he's rudely looking through my browser history. Uh, I'm in trouble. They're probably gonna run me out of town. Uh, and TV. I'm pretty fancy. I run shit around here, but as you can see, I don't read much. Not much on the reading. And I kinda... I just... You know, here's all the junk over here. I'll show you where I put it in. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's great. I'll show you where I put it in. That sounds frightening. <gasps> Look at all this shit! Oh my god! All this shit was falling... ...from space. Nope. It's going over... Oh my god. Oh no. We've got problems. We've... We've got problems. Okay, it doesn't matter. I'll fucking clean it up later. Alright, so all the junk that I dump comes into here. And as you can see, it's quite a lot of junk. So, and then it gets sucked into here. Let's show you where it goes. Let's go over here. Alright. So, it's actually kind of a couple of things going on over here. Alright, so I just put up this makeshift wall to like kind of separate my room from the rest of this garbage going on. So right here is where it gets sucked in, okay? It gets sucked in, and then comes over here, and then it goes to the first sorter. And that is a, I'll tell you later, you just saw a spoiler. Alright, so this first sorter is looking for... What is it? What is it looking for? Oh. Um, acid adhesive and septic adhesive. Okay, these are just like basic building components is what it's sorting out. Okay. Um, and again, this is an item sorter, so it's looking for basic components and then spitting them out this way. Now what's supposed to happen... Well, let me clean this up a little bit because it's bugging me. Boom. Boom. Just like a sham wow. Shit is gone. Alright. What's supposed to happen is shit's supposed to come down here. Just to hit this trip this laser wire thingy. And when that happens, it toggles the power on to this little sorter. And then the sorter opens up. So really, what's about happen is like every other item is supposed to trigger that. But here's the problem stupids this these are too they're, they're too little they're too little so when they get down to component form unless one of them's like standing up or tall enough it's all going to go into one sorter but here's the thing is it doesn't even matter this is like excess shit okay this is the runoff so i can go put these into other settlements and use them for building materials because anybody that has and, and I'm one of them I have one of my uh, my starlight settlement the vacuum hopper uh, is sucking out of the workshop there but here's the thing I never dump trash in there okay I never dump my junk in there but I have 17 scavenger stations set up and they say that there's only like a daily limit and then having more having any more than you know one scavenging station is a waste. I don't think that's true if you have it sucked out almost immediately when it's put in because it's never run dry. You know, I, I'll do a video on that one day 
But uh, anyway, we're getting we're getting lost. We're getting lost. Uh, so anyway, this is what's supposed to happen. The laser trip wire. You go like that, turn it off, boom. And now things get sorted over to the right side. And I think I'll leave it like this for a while since these two little oinkers. Actually, this little, this one little oinker. So I need to turn this one off too. Yeah. So it gets sorted into one, two, three, so three different areas. Okay. Oh, there's some scavenger stations over there. This is just a little baby settlement. I just started this character for building. So, okay, we got an item sorter here looking for components and sending them out this way. Everything else is going to be like crap that needs to be broken down. You know, like coffee pots and, and things of the sort. So, they come down the line here. And I left enough room here in case I wanted to do something else because... You know, this, like I said, was getting built out of creativity, okay? So, anything, anytime I got an idea, just boom, built it, okay? So, I highly recommend it. You know, just make a character modded. doesn't take long to just get building materials and do what you want. Just put seven in intelligence and build away. Anyway, let's, let's get ahead. Uh, so from here, everything gets sucked up into this conveyor system upstairs. So in order to get upstairs, I haven't built this in yet. You have to go out and then up. And the house across the street is getting renovations done. But right now, they're just pissed off at me. I told them I was going to have it done last Tuesday. I haven't talked to them since. All right, so now we're up here where the builders are. Alright, so here's where they get sucked up. They get sucked up. They come into here. Oh, and this is hilarious. Look at this. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. <laughs> okay, moving on. You get sucked into here. Oh, okay. Now maybe you'll get to see the late the trip wire in action. Let's see. Yeah, because this is tall enough to trip. Alright, watch, watch, watch. Oh, fuck me. Why? Yeah, probably it's because that wall is glitching it. Anything. That's dumb. That's dumb. Alright, well, I don't need that wall right there. Let's just move it. Let's just move it. See what happens. What the heck? Oh, this one's in the way, too. There we go. Okay. Let's see how it acts. It's not doing anything. Not doing anything. This is a just tell you what. Let's let's run this power again. Alright, so now there's no power going to the tripwire. Run it from the power pylon to the tripwire. Oh, and I put power pylons. I run conduits through all my settlements just because I prefer them to running cables inside. So, we got... And this one just came from came off the builder because it was right there. Uh, we got the tripwire. And right now this hook's not... This arm's not going to do anything because the power's off. So it's just chilling. So let's see if we can get it to do something. Run power to it. Boom. Now... Now we get to see... This marvel. Look at this. This is ridiculous. That's so dumb. What's wrong with you? Let's see. Let's see how long it takes for it to mess up. I swear before I started streaming this uh, last night, all this. It was funny though because that thing closes really quick. See? Yeah. How ridiculous is this? You know what? What? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. Because sometimes these pieces get messed up. I'll do this. Scrap both of them. And this is right now, this right now, this is a, this is a time that you would want to cut the power and turn it off. But, like I said, it's a, 
this isn't a real settlement, this is just a dream. So, let's go get our arm. It's in the uh, belts section. And, you know, guys, this is just if you wanted to try to get fancy and do something. It doesn't have to be like this. Okay? This is... This is just nonsense. I'll show you the nonsense part. You know, so far it's pretty standard, but... I'll show you the nonsense part. It's hilarious. I had fun building this thing. Alright, run it to a tripwire. Got, we got power. And then run it to that thing. Alright, there we go. Okay. Let's see. Let's watch it work. Nope. Nope. It made me look like an asshole. Okay. Anywho, we're moving on. We're moving on. So these are part of the bot. Okay. Uh, it's manufacturing extended. And these things are awesome. Because th these things do what I have to do manually. Which I'll show you in just a moment. Um, but like it, it, it just breaks items down to its basic components so everything that comes out of there you know a pot will go in one side wait watch 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 a pot come in there he's not going to come out he's going to come out he's not going to come out happy come on boom steel isn't that great isn't that great that, that to me seems like it needed to be in the game. So, we'll continue here. So you tell, you, should, you know, this was the junk that was coming up here. And then it comes, oh here's a piece of wood that got stuck. Oh, glass. Comes down here. And when this is working right and not making me look like a D-bag on stream. Um, look at it like this. It sorts it out. So, like, you know, every time this gets triggered by junk, so you can see how often it would be, it would open that arm up, and one item would go that way, another one would go that way, and it and it just it just worked. Okay, it just worked. Now let's go over here. Let's just assume that it's working. Not making me look like the biggest asshole. It would come over here. And then it goes, you know what, let's, let's just activate it so we can see it, because it's pretty hilarious when it happens. Alright. So this is, this is the mess that was downstairs, okay? So it goes through the recycler, so now we've got basic components coming down. Coming down, through here. Oh. Okay, and then it feeds down stairs. Oh, Jesus. This is awful. Feeds downstairs. Boom. Right here. And that's where all this stuff came from. Which I'm gonna have to... Yeah, unfortunately. This is the way to do this. But, you know, whenever I do it like this, it doesn't go back into the rotation. So. I don't know. It's, it's, it, it's, it's all cheat stuff. I don't really care. This is going to be faster. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's much faster. Uh. God, I'm. So ADHD right now. Alright, so it just gets thrown down into here, and then the hopper spits it out. What happened in here? Like an explosion. And then it goes down. And boom, it goes back into line. You see that? You see that? Let's go inside and see that. Let's go inside so you can look at it. Marvel at my mental giantness it's a word you can look it up it's a waste of your time though you shouldn't that piece of steel just glitched away did you see it right in front of our eyes it just poof vanished alright so the shit gets spit out 
This is the spoiler you saw earlier. The shit gets spit out right there. And then comes back down. And gets back into line. And then at that point, since it's already been through the recycler, at that point it's just getting sorted out this way. And we have the same problem. We have the same problem here. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You know, it seems to me like they would have accounted for the height of shit that would be on a conveyor belt. Because this is pretty standard stuff. I mean, it's not like I'm... You know, trying to bring a birthday cake to a Christmas party. It's, it's pretty standard. Anywho, you're supposed to go into one of these conveyor, these uh, storage things. So that way I can haul it off to a settlement that I'm just going to set up or, you know, like I, I wanted it to be separate priority, like, like as if the, oh, as if the supply people coming here, you know, the supply lines, like this is the shit that they're picking up, you know, like they bring us all their junk, like their coffee pots and their mugs and teapots and buckets and whatnot and we put it into our our uh, sorting facility and break it down and then they come and pick up their supplies like a week or two later you know you know that's just from a, from a role play point of view uh i like that idea so uh yeah we'll and we'll go back upstairs in a second <clears throat> We go look at what the other side of the coin what happens to it okay now here comes my fail all right so over here we got oh something triggered it look something triggered it things are going this way now all right so it goes through this recycler boom boom all right and here we go here we have a sorter it's looking for fertilizer and plastic. And it is going down to my Kim's processor. Which has right now, you see 43 plastic are in there. Are in there. So that means this thing is diverted 43 plastic to my Kim's processor. And it's building jet. How awesome is that? That's an add-on. I mean, that's a, uh, that's a mod. It's the uh, manufacturing standard. Or better manufacturing. Those are the two that I have. I have better manufacturing and manufacturing extended. I don't know if they're related. But, anywho. I love this thing. It builds jet for me. And that explains my chemistry station over here. Because my project is to put in another... Uh, chems processor. Building... You know, like another drug for me to combine the two together for experience so I don't know that's just something we're gonna do later but let's get back to the tour all right so it goes through and you can see all this shit in here it's building up you know, it's working through it it's, it's, it's breaking stuff down spitting it out and it comes over here and it gets sorted through here, fertilizer, plastic, blah, blah, blah. It goes to my jet maker. Well, guess what? I had my ballistics set up first. Look what it looks for. Copper, fertilizer, lead. <clears throat> See the problem? The problem is, if this thing is filtering out all the fertilizer, I'm never going to get any bullets. I'm never gonna, I'm never going to have any fertilizer. Isn't that awful? So that's that's what I've gotta That's what I've gotta fix. And look, I've talked all the way till sundown. Oh shit, we're not even done. We're not even done. Okay. So if it's not fertilizer, plastic, copper, what have you. It goes back into the fray. Look at this. This is this is the great part. They don't have a real solid way of reintroducing uh, 
from conveyor belt to back onto itself. Okay, there's no pieces that that do that you know, fluidly. You know, like I can't put this because it snaps a certain way. And once you start working with these, you'll see. You'll see. So, I added this little thing. It gets sucked up into the here. And then it comes out and comes down right here. Watch it. Is there anything coming? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Okay, this will be fun. All these little blocks. Watch it. Bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> it just gets shit out right here. Right here. It just poops back down. Let's see what happens to these oven mitts. Where are they destined? Oh. They go straight. They go back down to re-roll the roulette. See, all these are going straight because this stupid thing... But now, now look what's going to happen. All this stuff that's getting shit out, it'll never leave. Because it's just going to come right back into here. And sort it back around again. And, you know, I just have it infinite like that, just in case, like, if I want to build something different, or make a new drug, or put a builder in. You know, I've already got raw materials just floating around, you know? So I can just put whatever I want to filter out in the sorter. And voila, we are done. Okay, so that is enough of that. Let us sleep until daytime with a creepy man in my room. All right. Okay, and we're up. Okay, and we're up. Alright, so that's that. Alright, so let's go back to our project. Our project going on over here. The Simpo Ammo Manufacturing. So now you see a little bit about how sorters do their thing. Alright, so the sorter we're gonna look for, we're just gonna keep this simple. I'll show I'll show you both ways. We're not gonna use the component sorter right right now. Okay. We're not gonna do that. There is a way that you can do you can do that. But this is uh, this is the probably the easiest best way. Just put your sorter here. Okay, and this is the one that we're, it's looking for the exact item that you put into the inventory. Vacuum hopper, sorter, and we need to have storage for this side. Okay. That way, if it's not whatever you're looking for, it doesn't just fall out on the ground like like my whiskey bottles. This is how you get reported for daytime drinking. Alright. Sorter. It's going to be looking for whatever component we need for our ballistic ammunition plant. And that's this thing. And... Can you guess? Can you guess what else we need? Yeah, a knife. Another storage. Alright. So, how does all this work? You may ask. Let's go and see if it's going to work. Boom. Alright, so we go into our computer. And we get 
to see what rounds you want. Okay. Um, it's a it's a shame, but the seven point six two rounds that you use for like the problem solver that you get from Nuka World, you can't make those. So literally, the only place you can get them is the market in Nuka World. Kind of sucks. So let's say we want to make three oh eights. Three oh eights need one copper, one lead, one fertilizer. So that's why I was looking for those things in uh, in my other men in my other factory. Because that's what those items need. So let's let's look. What we have in here right now. I don't think there's anything. Yeah, there's nothing in there. Let's go grab some shit to put in there. Copper, lead, and fertilizer. This is disgusting. Yeah, don't break the game for yourself. Don't use mods like that do this. Where you know, I can literally build anything that I wanted. Uh, it just kind of ruins the game. So I, that's why I have a separate character for stuff like this. What are we looking for? Oh yeah, copper. that many geez we'll just get let's get like a handful of each fertilizer would be next in the alphabet we'll get something that's we'll get something that's not so you can see how it gets sorted out we we'll only get five of those though and lead Here comes the lead. Boom. All right. So once you know that your uh, your bullets take copper, lead, and fertilizer, you want to put copper, lead, and fertilizer in your sorter. That way, it knows what to look for. And again, this is just the item sorter. So it's only going to be looking for copper, lead, and fertilizer. It will not be looking for junk that contains. Okay. Like, I've got one. And, and you, can, you can do the component thing. Uh, I've got one set up that way to where it's looking for components. So, if a phone comes through here, you know, if it's got steel in it, and I'm looking for steel, it's going to send it on this way. You can totally do it that way. However, you're going to have to come over here to this and, you know, clean it out, break things down, and recycle the, the components themselves. But, you know, if you don't mind maintenance and... Uh, looking after it then sure by all means do it that way but we're not gonna we have it done we have it set up this way all right so now we just introduce our shit go to our junk and yeah we'll put all this in there just so we, we won't let's see that's too many of those there's our lead You got the copper, the lead, the fertilizer, and then some extra stuff just so you can see what happens to it. Okay, are we on? We're not on. Let's flip the switch. And boom. Let's do it to it. And you can see the aluminum popping up in the hopper. It's sucking it out alphabetically. And putting it through. We get to go over here and see what happens to it. It's not copper lead or fertilizer, and it's coming right through here. And it's just going to store right there. Now, my next experiment is to do uh, like another vacuum hopper from this storage. So at the end of wherever you're at, 
you can have it go into a completely different system. And that way you can have multiple... Because right now, if I added another ammunition plant to, uh, to this line, that computer only sees it as one ammunition plant. Like, you can't... You can't tell it, okay, I want this one to make 10 millimeter and this one to make 308s. So, it has to be on a completely separate system. I haven't figured that out yet. Okay, so here we go. We got our copper lead and our fertilizer coming through. And you can see it. It was sent over to our builder. Our builder is smooshing and smashing away. And boom, see? It's, now it's shitting out little 308s. Put them in there for us. They come out in boxes. Or boxes of 10. Yeah. So, I mean, like, this is cool, like, because it runs even when you're not here, you know? So if you've got it hooked up to your workshop, then it'll just run. And if you've got a lot of scavenger stations, I don't care what anybody says to me, the more scavenger stations you have, the more junk that puts in there, if you have a hopper set up. Because my hopper, you know what, let's go log on that character. No, because it's actually empty right now. I just changed it into a Raider Outpost. So, I only have like six people there. It was 27. The Raiders will build up. I just gotta give them time. But yeah, here we go. See? And it should be running out of copper, lead, and fertilizer pretty soon. Boom. It's done. And are we empty? We are empty. So there you go. Now we have 9308 rounds. And here's all of our un unused stuff. And again, this is just a simple uh, this is a simple setup. You know, this doesn't take any time at all. I think I took more time putting down the the floor mats for aesthetic purposes than actually setting this up. And oh yeah, as as long as they're connected by the conveyor belts, you only have to run power to part of it, and then the rest of them you don't have to to run power from here to there. This is just it's already got power. They're all connected. How much power? Oh yeah, we we're gonna look at how much power. Eight. So in this little bitty setup, we got six, nine, seventeen. These are okay. Yeah, they don't have wires. They just need to be connected. Seventeen power, and this is little bitty easy setup. Yeah. Pretty nuts. That's what she said. And I said, thank you. Alright. I don't know what to do now. This over here, I've got to fix. I've got to fix this. Because this is... Like, first of all, these little tripwires not working is a nightmare because I'm going to get heavy on one settlement and see like look look this is only got 19 2 13 13 like this has got 81 23 see it's, it's unbalanced because this damn thing you know what now I'm starting to think it's something wrong with no I guess I got it right Yeah. Yeah, that's right. You gotta run power to the tripwire, and the tripwire runs power to this thing.
I mean, these things aren't really tall enough to trip it, but y'all saw upstairs. It wasn't tripping then either. Weird. Weird, I say. I don't know how I'm going to fix that shit upstairs. That's something that we can figure out. But that's going to be it for me tonight. Thanks, everybody.